I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought, I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, I play, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the men What's up everyone, Matt Squeaky Clean Air. Um, today we're gonna talk about oil disposal. Um, yeah, you can probably dump it in your backyard. You probably should not be dumping it into the uh, municipal water drains because you don't wanna keep that water polluted, right? There, we live in Canada, there's so many options. There's, there's hazardous waste disposal units that make it so simple and so easy for you to be able to uh, recycle your, your old oil, coolant if you've done a coolant flush. So there's absolutely no excuse not to do it. And today we're gonna to be talking about it and we're actually gonna be making a visit um, to one of the recycling centers dropping off some coolant. I'll show you guys how easy it is actually to do it. But uh, yeah, so enjoy. Okay, so here you are. So in this case, I've drained some transmission oil from the Civic and I have a full pan full of transmission oil. I'm going to be taking that transmission oil and I'm going to be putting it back into the transmission oil containers. And uh, very important to have a good quality catch pan that has a nice little spout like this one does. I prefer them to be obviously tall to avoid any splashes, nice sizable amount, spend the extra money on a good quality one, do your research which ones are the best, and that will allow you to sort of take later the spent fluid or the fluid from your transmission and you're able to dump it out into, into the actual bottle containers. Very important, which is what I like to, I like to make it easier for the waste disposal guys. What I do is if I'm flushing coolant, okay, I'm going to use the coolant bottle to put the old spent coolant in it. So it's easy and it's identifiable as it's coolant for the guys that are gonna be sorting this out. Obviously I put an X on it, so I know that it's something that I'm not gonna be by accidentally or somebody in the household is gonna use it and put it in their car to top off their coolant because it's spent coolant, it's got an X on it. So, so mark your containers, the ones that you're gonna be taking back. Try to pour back the spent or the used fluid that you flushed out from the pen into the actual container that the new fluid came from. So it's easy for you to know coolant that's in there and oil, or in my case, I'm going to be taking the transmission oil um, that's there and uh, once my new oil arrives, which I'm waiting for the synchro mesh, I'm going to basically put this spent oil into those containers. So at least, you know, the guys that are sorting or putting in the hazardous waste know that it's going to be um, uh, transmission oil that's in there. So very important, sort of keep the spent fluids and put them in into the bottles that the new fluids came from. So coolants with coolants, oils with coils, transmission oils with transmission oils, right? Perfect. Probably a good idea to get everything organized and as I was telling in the main uh, video, previous video, is get everything into the respective containers. So you want to put your coolant into the coolant, you want to put your transmission fluid into the transmission fluid bottles, and then you want to put your spent oil into the spent uh, oil bottle. Put a nice, uh, you know, cover underneath your trunk so you don't dirty up your trunk in case there's any residual leaks. Try to find a bag, uh, a, not a bag, but uh, a box so you can put everything in there. That way you can plan everything out and get it all ready so you don't have any unnecessary spills. So we're going to take this down to the recycling facility and drop it off. So basically every community has one. It's a community recycling center. This one happens to be the Battlefold, Battlefold, Battleford Recycling Center in Mississauga. And basically you just drive up and uh, you drop off your uh, spent fluid in there and then you drop it off. And that's pretty much it. Every community has one, so just do your research and uh, get it done. Basically, just drive up. Because of COVID, they have COVID precautions. You need to wear a mask, but you just drive up, drop off your uh, oil. There's a table, and uh, that's pretty much it. So it's a very simple process to do it, and it's really rewarding when you do your own oil changes, but just dropping it off is, is, is not as hard as everybody makes it seem. So definitely take advantage, but uh, do your research in regards to hazardous drop-off centers, and off you go. That's pretty much it. See you guys around. So that's basically what it looks like.